Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, October 30th, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight, Obama talks boots on the ground in Syria. Then, a look back at the occult origins of Halloween. And supposed intellectuals want you to destroy jack-o'-lanterns for the Earth. That's next. We need to eradicate the world of these orange beasts. They're going to ruin us. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Look at these evil pumpkins. They have come from beyond to ruin the biosphere. Good, Green Police. Good. You working with the other politically correct people, banning the word mother and father, and banning banning Halloween costumes have proven how liberal you are. Now, now, just relax for a moment. Go assemble the enemy over there, Prince. behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. My answer is simple. I will not put American boots on the ground in Syria. I will not pursue an open-ended action like Iraq or Afghanistan. I will not pursue a prolonged air campaign like Libya or Kosovo. This would be a targeted strike to achieve a clear objective, deterring the use of chemical weapons and degrading Assad's capabilities. After Obama announced that he's going to deploy no troops to Syria, Today, he says he's going to be putting some boots on the ground. So, of course, he's broken all of the other promises he's made. So what's the difference now? Now, U.S. officials did confirm today special forces soldiers will be deployed on the ground in Syria. Fewer than 50, they say, uh, will be deployed in the region to train, advise and assist vetted opposition forces. According to this official, they say this does not mark a change in U.S. strategy, but rather an intensification of the campaign in Syria. So basically now we're going to put boots on the ground uh, to train, advise, and assist all of those moderate rebels, are also known as ISIS. Basically, we are now in a proxy war with Russia. So stay tuned to that. I'm sure there will be more news coming out of Syria. Now, this was interesting breaking today. Uh, the RNC has pulled out of the debate that was to air on NBC on February 26. They say after that ridiculous treatment that they received at this last debate, they are now pulling out of NBC, the network, altogether. Um, now, this was RNC Chairman Reince Priebus. He wrote in a letter to NBC News. Uh, he said, while debates are meant to include tough questions and contrast candidates' visions and policies for the future of America, CNBC's moderators engaged in a series of gotcha questions, petty and mean-spirited in tone, and they were designed to embarrass our candidates. We are suspending the partnership with NBC News. So we all... Witnessed that with our own eyes. Of course, the establishment media got called out on their blatant bias. Perhaps this can finally be the wake-up call that America needs to see the blatant left bias in the media. So be sure to tune into Infowars.com whenever there is a presidential debate going on, and we will be live giving you our commentary on those debates. Now, here's another thing coming out of Russia. Putin once again sticking it to Obama, and he is basically saying. Anthropogenic climate change is a geostrategic weapon. And he's just saying globalists want to undermine Russia's thriving energy sector. He characterized climate change as a fraud. He's saying it's used to prevent Russia from tapping its vast oil and natural gas reserves. 
Greenpeace claims that 85% of CO2 equivalent emissions in Russia come from its energy industry. So got to give it to Putin once again, calling out Obama and this globalist regime. President Barack Obama is not a world leader. Obama may be led by the New World Order, but that qualifies about as much as the Nobel Peace Prize Obama received for reaching out to the Muslim world. And oh, how Obama reached out. ISIS is eternally grateful for all of his help. Obama's Nobel Peace Prize is equivalent to Milli Vanilli's Grammy Award. And like theirs, the Nobel Peace Prize should be returned. When it comes to the load of bull Obama has been shoveling in the global arena for the last seven years, it turns out a vast majority of the people can cut right through the rubbish and red tape. That's why 89% of Russians, 2 out of 3 Britons, and 94% of Americans, according to a New York Daily News poll, support Russian President Vladimir Putin. Putin, fresh off of single-handedly altering the dynamic in the Middle East, now says global warming is being used as an economic weapon against his country. He characterized climate change as a fraud used to prevent Russia from tapping its vast oil and natural gas reserves. Putin's senior economic advisor from the early 2000s, Andrei Ilyarinov, told the New York Times, We found that while climate change does exist, it is cyclical, and the anthropogenic role is very limited. It became clear that the climate is a complicated system and that so far the evidence presented for the need to fight global warming was rather unfounded. Myth of Arctic meltdown, stunning satellite images show ice cap is thicker and covers 1.7 million square kilometers. Look, and it's the same thing for the south. This is the Arctic ice shelf. Uh, this is uh, 2012 and you can see this is 2014 much bigger with the entire northern passage for ships uh, completely blocked off. I mean, that is a fact that he said uh, that by 2013 it would be completely gone and it's now the biggest ever recorded by satellites. Greenpeace and the World Wildlife Fund have complained Russia does not consult them on its climate policies. It is their opinion. It does not reflect anything, and it is not objective, said Alexander Badritsky. As Putin focuses on the reality of Russia's global priorities, President Obama will sail into the end of a catastrophic occupation of the U.S. presidency after raising the debt ceiling in yet another backdoor overnight deal, lifting the spending caps and increasing them to $80 billion over two years as the fragile U.S. economy careens toward a $20 trillion debt, an increase of over 70% since Obama took office. Raising the debt ceiling, which has done, been done over 100 times, does not increase our debt. It does not uh, somehow promote profligacy. All it does is it says you got to pay the bills that you've already racked up, Congress. Obama's legacy of enacting numerous Bilderberg brain children will be the very global knots, future world leaders, the likes of Russia's Putin, Iceland's President Grimson, and Hungary's President Adder will find themselves untying far into the future. John Bound for Infowars.com. So just to point out some of the blatant hypocrisy with this global warming and this man-made climate change. Now we reported a couple years ago, the EPA was banning wood burning stoves. They were banning over 80% of the production and sale of America's current wood burning stoves. This is the oldest heating method known to mankind and it's the mainstay of rural homes. And of course the nation's poorest uh, families there. So they banned wood-burning stoves that didn't limit fine airborne particulate emissions uh, to a maximum of 12 microgram limit. So just to put that in context, the EPA estimates that secondhand smoke uh, from tobacco in a closed car can expose a person to 3,000 to 4,000 micrograms of particulates per cubic meter. Now, the big issue here with these wood-burning stoves and tobacco cigarettes, um, as well as you know, what's coming out of your car exhaust is benzene, this known carcinogen benzene. It can cause lung cancer as well as birth defects. And based on what a lot of people were reporting coming out of the toxic landfill, the radioactive landfill in St. Louis, what the residents could confirm there was benzene. And just take a look at this video that we shot while we were in St. Louis. 
This is at an EPA Superfund site. This is an EPA Superfund site on fire. The leachate has, is leaking now. We can see it coming out. They are trying to scoop up as much of this material as they possibly can. Uh, 10,000 gallons of this stuff has now leaked, leaking, and they're trying to clean this up as fast as they can. This is a crazy scene down here at the Westlake Landfill. Liam Mackett reporting for InfoWars.com. I know this is crazy, but we are back here out at the Westlake Landfill. I uh, wanted to go ahead and get some Geiger counter readings of our own, just for our own peace of mind. Um, really lucky to report that they're sticking around the high 40s, uh, not going up to that threshold, that radiation threat ho threshold that we're warned about. Now, what you witnessed last night was the leachate leak here. And of course, leachate uh, is liquid that moves throughout the landfill. And what it does is it's collecting uh, those undesirable particulates that are in the landfill. It's not really a big deal um, it, unless, of course, it leaks out. It, it can cause pollution and it smells really, really bad. The issue with this landfill is that this is now a radioactive uh, landfill. And so if you are collecting particulates of that radioactive material, and then of course the leachate tank suddenly leaks out 10,000 gallons of that fluid, that is not a good thing for this community. And that is why so many people are concerned that this is not a stable site. So if 10 to 11,000 gallons of toxic materials, toxic leachate, uh, bursts out of a landfill where they say they've got everything under control, but clearly they, they don't. Myself and Josh Owens, as well as many of the residents there, were exposed to this benzene and other harmful toxicants. That's completely okay. The EPA says they've got everything under control, but if you want to light a fire in your, in your fireplace, you need to get taxed for that. Pay something, a little something, something to Al Gore. Now, this is the ridiculousness of our society. So, of course, it's Halloween which means it's time for the PC butthurt crowd to go into full effect. This time, a school has banned a Hispanic students' racist mariachi Halloween costume. So a student attending a secondary school in Ontario sent a photo of his costume to school officials to ask if he was allowed to wear it, to which the officials said, no, sorry, that costume will not be approved as it is very offensive. Now, the student claimed mariachi as part of his Colombian culture the school told him that culture was not a costume and to feel free not to participate in the Halloween fun if you can't accept the rules. Because on Halloween, your rights end where other people's feelings begin. And just to let you know that there is, there's no jobs crisis because here in the PC world, colleges are now designating official Halloween costume sensitivity consultants. That's right, they're putting flyers up all around colleges across the country telling kids, here, here are five campus officials that you can get in touch with to discuss the very important issue of whether or not what they will get uh, dressed up as to get drunk will be advancing social justice causes. Same thing for Walmart. They have a uh, little known trust and safety compliance team and their job is to basically comb through the some 40,000 costumes that are sold online and make sure that their 140 million shoppers might not be offended by those costumes. So no white hot pants and wig marketed as the Caitlyn Jenner a parody costume. I mean, there's so many other ones, but basically these people scour headlines and online products to identify items that might become newly offensive in light of the day's news. So they're doing this every single day because every single day, social justice warriors and the PC crowd find something completely new to be really upset about. And of course, the latest thing everyone's upset about, pumpkins. Now, Alex Jones and his minion Buckley decided to do something about that. It's all true. The energy department, I have the documents here. The energy department says that pumpkins are causing climate change. We need to eradicate the world of these orange beasts. They're going to ruin us. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Oh my God, look at these small ones. We can't let them mature. We have to get them now.